Hey there, so today what we're going to be taking a look at is we're going to be trying to play games at 1440p on the Trig Key Speed S5 Mini PC. Now this is rocking a Ryzen 5 5500U. You should have a pretty much identical experience if you're using the B-Link SCR5 with the Ryzen 5 5500U, as I have found them to be pretty much identical systems. Now I know what you're thinking, using integrated graphics to game at 1440p is going to be practically impossible unless you're using the highest end integrated graphics possible and considering that this apu is quite a few years old at this point your likelihood of getting 1440p to function properly is pretty much non-existent but that's where the program called lossless scaling comes into the picture see what this lets us do is inject fsr into pretty much any game that we want to now we're going to be trying all of these games at 720p and then upscaling that with fsr up to 1440p the reason we're going with 720p is part of the reason that 1080p can look so good when you upscale it up to 4k the same way that four 1080p pictures fit into one 4k image four 720p pictures fit perfectly in a 1440p display and what that means is that if you upscale 720p up to 1440p each individual 720p pixel can perfectly become for 1440p pixels now the benefit of this is that you essentially get perfect scaling and you don't get the weird effect that happens where if you take unmatching resolutions and try to upscale them there has to be some guesswork at the edges of a bunch of pixels so it makes the image look even blurrier so this is in theory the most ideal way of doing this but we're actually going to take a look at the results now the first game we're going to be taking a look at is one that we've taken a look at quite a few times before it is of course batman arkham knight a staple because of the fact that even though it's quite a few years old at this point it is still relatively demanding and of course it has a built-in benchmark and here you can see it running with the lowest in-game graphic settings but we are at the full 1440p resolution and the experience is dreadful although it is pretty consistent considering that the one percent lows are very close to our average it is just consistently awful so in general you're not really going to be having a great time like this but let's take a look at what happens when we inject fsr into this and by the way if you're curious how the program works pretty much all we have to do is set the game to be in windowed mode and we just have to drop down to pretty much 720p you can go down to any resolution that we want but as i discussed before we're going specifically for 720p here and once you apply that now the game is windowed and all you really have to do is open up the lossless scaling tool and you're pretty much good to go from here all you have to do is hit the scale button and once you actually tab back into the game itself, it will, after a countdown, full screen. And after doing this, we are actually able to see a pretty massive increase in terms of performance once we actually start upscaling the game at 720p up to 1440p. But of course, there is a noticeable degradation in terms of the overall visual quality. But considering how massive the uplift is in terms of performance, the visual impact really doesn't seem that drastic by comparison the fact that now we get a actually playable and enjoyable experience really kind of outweighs the fact that it is just blurrier than it was before of course another title that i took a look at was doom 2016 and here you can see it running at 1440p full resolution and of course it is absolutely struggling to give us anywhere near a remotely playable experience if you look at those frame time charts as well it is just an absolute disaster you are going to have a very hard time just finding any kind of an enjoyable experience out of this which should not be surprising at all really here of course once we start upscaling 720p here we get a far different experience you might see some flickering on the screen there i'm not 100 sure what was causing that but i did notice it while i was actually playing on here but the overall experience itself is just significantly better specifically pay attention to those frame time charts see how smooth and consistent everything is that is the ideal situation here and overall i'm very very happy with the results here and visually speaking honestly i'm struggling to really see a super drastic downgrade in terms of the visual quality. 
And I think part of it has to do with the fact that now that everything is just so much smoother and easier to play, it almost just feels like it is a better looking experience. Now, I also jumped into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. I was just playing around here and again, you are looking at this at 1440p and the game itself is running with a mix of high and medium graphics settings. In general, the overall performance, while decent enough considering that it is a single player slash co-op kind of experience, if we were playing this with the multiplayer then it would be a pretty abysmal experience but in general it is at least somewhat passable here i certainly have experienced worse and considering that this is all the way up to 1440p in a lot of ways it's actually kind of impressive that said once we start using the upscaling tool the overall increase in performance is pretty substantial here and overall we are talking about worlds of difference in terms of how this is going to play you can see by those frame time charts that things are incredibly smooth and consistent that is exactly what you want that is the most important thing anytime you are gaming having smooth consistent transitions in between your frames you don't want these sudden spikes from 60 all the way down to 20 up to 80 down to 15 all of that crazy fluctuation really just makes an overall bad experience here you're not really getting that now the footage itself might look like it's stuttering that just has to do with the fact that my capture card does not actually seem to like these unlocked frame rates so it'll freak out in games where the frame rate is a little too high which is why i'm telling you to pay attention to the frame time charts and th things like that because that is what's giving you the indication here don't just pay attention to what you see on the screen in terms of the gameplay take a look at the numbers now for the last game i wanted to do it as a side by side and here you're taking a look at rainbow six siege running at the full 1440p resolution and then running with fsr the built-in fsr running at a preset of performance which means it pretty much goes for a 50 percent render resolution target as you can see here fsr does give us a pretty massive and pretty substantial upgrade in terms of the overall performance and visually speaking you're more than likely going to have a hard time telling an actual difference in the overall gameplay now if you're ultra competitive in this i can see this still being a problem because one the fps that we're hitting isn't exactly super high and the impact in the visual quality could be a problem in those situations where you're kind of just trying to shoot somebody from a two centimeter people and lastly before closing out on the game testing i do want to point out that days gone here was actually giving me some problems when i was trying to inject fsr into it as soon as any kind of upscaling was activated the frame rate would absolutely tank and if you look at the power usage the apu itself is pretty much just almost like going into an idle state or something it is not really utilizing any of its power whatsoever so it pretty much becomes completely unusable so this isn't an absolutely catch all solution for any of your problems out there clearly there are still some issues that you're going to run into here and there but so far this has been the only thing that i've seen that has given me this problem but it was a consistent problem now obviously hardware like this isn't exactly going to be playing every game at 1440p and the vast majority of them even with a program like this aren't exactly going to give you an amazing experience this was really more of an experiment more than anything else but it is an interesting option if you have been considering a 1440p display because it does make productivity tasks so much better it is an option there especially because i was actually kind of surprised by how good things looked i genuinely was expecting 720p to look abysmal at 1440p but honestly it did not look as bad especially for how good of an uplift in performance we ended up getting but anyways i'll catch you in the next one